good morning dear students we are talking about the renewable energy resources and in the last lecture we talked about uh, some of the renewable energy resources such as solar energy wind energy geothermal energy so in continuation today uh, we'll talk about hydropower energy so let's start our today's lecture uh, hydropower energy utilizes the kinetic energy of water for generation of electricity so some facts about hydropower the hydropower technology was invented by h f uh, rogers uh, hydropower plant supplies about 20% of the world's electricity and according to national geographic the first hydroelectric power plant was built in 1979 at niagara falls uh some of the world leaders in uh, hydropower energy are china brazil and the united states uh the norway is a country which gets almost all energy from the hydropower its uh, uh, hydropower installed capacity is near about uh, 99% of the total uh, electricity generated in uh, the country so we can say that uh, almost all of the energy in norway is uh, being generated using hydropower now we'll see that how the hydropower system works a typical hydroelectric uh, plant is a system with three parts first is a power plant where the electricity is produced then a dam uh, to control water flow and a reservoir where water is stored so these are the three parts of a hydropower uh, project or plant in the diagram also you can see the uh, image of a turbine uh, with which a generator is attached which actually generates electricity when the blades of the turbine rotates because of uh, uh, the force of the water the water behind the dam flows through uh, an intake and pushes against the blades in the turbine causing them to turn the turbine spins a generator to produce electricity now let's talk about the components of hydropower plant a typical uh, hydropower plant uh, has following components first a catchment area it's uh, the entire area which uh, is uh, surrounded uh, uh, in a hydropower plant and through which the water comes to the reservoir so all the nearby area from where the water comes to the reservoir uh, is known as a catchment area of a hydropower uh, plant second is a reservoir and connected to it is a dam then uh, an intake structure uh, which uh, allows the controlled flow of water from reservoir to the turbine house uh, then a penstock which is uh, uh, an structure that uh, uh, allows the flow of water from reservoir to the turbine then a turbine which uh, rotates for generation of electricity then generator that is attached to the turbine a power house where uh, actually electricity is generated and an electrical system for transmission of generated electricity to the far flung areas so this uh, through this diagram you can uh, see that how all these components are uh, uh, associated to each other A reservoir has an intake structure through which water flows through penstock to the turbine then attached to turbine is a generator and uh, which generates electricity in the power house and that electricity is uh, transmitted through electrical system the water after rotating the turbine moves to the downstream area through downstream outlet so these are the components of hydropower plant now let's discuss all the components in uh, detail the first is the catchment area as i said that catchment area of a hydropower plant is the entire area behind the dam which drains water in the river or the stream over which the hydropower plant has been installed 
So this can better be understood through uh, the diagram which I have placed on this slide. You can see that uh, the reservoir is uh, 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 shown uh, in the diagram and uh, around this reservoir we have the catchment area and uh, along the side of reservoir is the dam uh, which, is, which is shown with a bar uh, diagram. So uh, that is about the catchment area of a hydropower plant. The second uh, component of hydropower plant is a reservoir. The entire water that is collected from the catchment area is uh, stored in the reservoir behind the dam. The purpose of storing the water in the reservoir is uh, to get uniform water supply to the turbine throughout the year. Uh, reservoir can be either natural or artificial and uh, the choice of uh, reservoir to be natural or artificial depends on uh, the topography of the area. Uh, natural reservoir is a lake in the high mountains and an artificial reservoir is made by constructing a dam across the river. So in this diagram also we can see uh, a natural reservoir of Tihiri Dam. The third component of hydropower plant is a dam. Uh, it's, the dam is built across the river uh, for two purposes. First, to hold the water uh, of the river for storage. Second, to create the head of the water. Uh, according to the structure material of a dam, it can be classified as a timber dam, steel dam. Uh, the timber and steel dams uh, are restricted to a height of height between 6 to 12 meters. So another uh, categories are rock fill dams and uh, masonry dams and uh, one more category is earthen dam uh, which is uh, constructed for the larger heights up to 100 meters. So these are the categories of the dam based on uh, the height of uh, the dam. So the fourth component of a hydropower project is spillways. Spillways are structures which are constructed to provide safe release of flood waters from the dam to the downstream areas. Because uh, every reservoir has a capacity to store the water and if uh, flood occurs to that area then uh, the water in the reservoir can top up. Uh, so in order to control uh, the flow of water in the reservoir, the spillways are constructed. Uh, spillway can be a part of a dam or it can be separated from it also. The spillways can be uh, controlled or uncontrolled. A controlled spillway is provided with the gates which uh, can be raised or lowered based on uh, the condition. The fifth component of a hydropower uh, plant is turbine and generators. Turbine and generators are known as the heart of the power plant because uh, these are very important uh, component of uh, hydropower plant. A turbine is a fan-like structure having uh, several blades and it uh, rotates on its uh, axis when water strikes the blades. The generator is a device which produces electricity due to rotation of coil between strong magnetic field. So through this diagram also we can uh, see the turbine and generator attached uh, to the turbine. The sixth important uh, component of hydropower plant is penstock. So uh, penstock is actually a connecting pipe between dam and the turbine house. Uh, the dam is uh, uh, constructed on the uphills whereas the uh, power house or the turbine house is located on the downhills. So between this dam and turbine uh, the pen stock is placed. The pen, pen stock is fixed to increase the kinetic energy of water coming from the dam. Because more would be the kinetic energy of water, more uh, uh, ability it will have to rotate the turbine blades and which in turn can generate more electricity. 
So in order to increase the kinetic energy of water, penistocks are installed. The penistock can sustain high pressure of water and it is made up of, of very strong material. So you can see uh, the placement of a penistock uh, through this diagram between a dam and a turbine house. Now the classification of hydropower plants and uh, this is the classification based on the installed capacity. Based on the installed capacity, uh, we may have four different categories of hydropower plants. The first category is uh, micro projects. Any hydropower project or plant up to an installed capacity of 100 kilowatt uh, will be kept under this category. Uh, next uh, uh, category is mini projects or mini hydropower uh, projects. Uh, and these uh, projects have installed capacity between 101 kilowatt to 2 megawatt. And slightly higher than this, we have small hydropower projects. The capacity uh, ranges between 2 megawatt to 25 megawatt. And the mega hydropower projects are uh, the hydropower projects more than 25 megawatt capacity and equal to or more than 500 megawatt uh, capacity. So uh, all the hydropower projects uh, which are equal to or more than 500 megawatt capacity, installed capacity are considered as mega hydropower projects. Uh, in India, the hydropower potential is around uh, 1,45,000 megawatt and presently approximately 26% of this hydropower potential has been exploited in India. So we have uh, an excited opportunity, uh, a very good opportunity of uh, harnessing hydropower uh, potential of India in the near future also. Now let's talk about advantages and disadvantages of a hydropower plant. First of all, we talk about the advantages. Uh, there are no charges for the fuel because water is available uh, almost all the time. Uh, the operational cost of a hydropower uh, project is very low and it provides uh, uh, consistency uh, consistent efficiency if uh, the area has uh, moderate to good uh, rainfall and if the hydropower project uh, has been installed with the reservoir or the dam. Uh, it does not pollute the environment because uh, no harmful gases uh, are released from the hydropower uh, projects. It can also control floods because excess of water can be stored in the reservoirs. The hydroparts have long life compared to the thermal uh, and the nuclear power plants. So uh, these are the advantages of the hydropower uh, plants. Now let's talk about some of the disadvantages also. Uh, the cost of installation of hydropower plant is quite high. If you want to install a hydropower plant of capacity 1 megawatt, then uh, it would require an in an investment of near about 5 to 6 crores. Then it takes very long time for the construction. So it's a, a, a time taking uh, project. Uh, this hydropower projects are associated with the problems of rehabilitation and resettlement of the people. Because uh, these are the mega projects and whenever uh, hydropower projects will be uh, constructed to an area then a uh, large number of peoples are, are required to be uh, migrated from that area and they are rehabilitated on the other areas. So uh, this is one of, one of the disadvantages. Another disadvantage could be loss of biodiversity because it involves a lot of construction. Uh, so number of trees are cut down that is uh, loss to the biodiversity of this earth. Then these hydropower projects are uh, associated with the problems of pollution, especially during the construction activity. Uh, during the construction activity, there could be problem of air pollution uh, because of uh, the operation of equipments and machineries, as well as uh, water pollution due to uh, 
generation of uh, sewage uh, by the staff working in the hydropower uh, project. Also the noise pollution because of equipments and machineries. And uh, another disadvantage could be uh, that the power generation depends on the rainfall. If uh, in any particular year uh, there is no adequate rainfall in that area then the power generation uh, by the hydropower uh, plant will drop down. So these are certain advantages and disadvantages of hydropower plant. But uh, these hydropower plants are uh, a part of renewable energy resources. So uh, we must uh, <clears throat> we must uh, appreciate uh, the installation of uh, more and more hydropower plants so that uh, we could uh, we could save our uh, non renewable energy resources such as coal petrol di and diesel and other and the water can be renewed uh, every year during the monsoon period so these hydropower plants can uh, solve our problem of uh, energy crisis in the future so that was all about uh, today's lecture and with this we have ended up uh, the discussion on the renewable energy resources in the next lecture i will talk about uh, some other important topics so that was all about today Thank you very much.